When vessels are in sight of one another, a power-driven vessel underway, when manoeuvring as authorised or required by these rules, shall indicate that manoeuvre by the following signals on her whistle. One short blast to mean I am altering my course to starboard. Two short blasts to mean I am altering my course to port. Three short blasts to mean I am operating a stern propulsion. Any vessel may supplement the whistle signals prescribed in paragraph A of this rule by light signals repeated as appropriate whilst the manoeuvre is being carried out. These light signals shall have the following significance. One flash to mean I am altering my course to starboard. Two flashes to mean I am altering my course to port. Three flashes to mean I am operating a stern propulsion. The duration of each flash shall be about one second, the interval between flashes shall be about one second, and the interval between successive signals shall not be less than 10 seconds. The light used for this signal shall, if fitted, be an all-round white light, visible at a minimum range of five miles, and shall comply with the provisions of Annex 1 to these regulations. Annex 1 being the technical details of lights and shapes. When in sight of one another in a narrow channel or fairway, a vessel intending to overtake another shall, in compliance with Rule 9E Part 1, indicate her intention by the following signals on her whistle. Two prolonged blasts followed by one short blast to mean I intend to overtake you on your starboard side. Two prolonged blasts followed by two short blasts to mean I intend to overtake you on your port side. The vessel about to be overtaken when acting in accordance with Rule 9E Part 1 shall indicate her agreement by the following signal on her whistle. One prolonged one short, one prolonged, and one short blast in that order. That's the Morse code for Morse Charlie, as in confirmed. When vessels in sight of one another are approaching each other and from any cause either vessel fails to understand the intentions or actions of the other or is in doubt whether sufficient action is being taken by the other to avoid collision, the vessel in doubt shall immediately indicate such doubt by giving at least five short and rapid blasts on the whistle. Such signal may be supplemented by a light signal of at least five short and rapid flashes. So if we're unclear of another vessel's intentions, it's at least five short blasts, not maximum five short blasts. We could do five, six, seven or eight, but short and rapid blasts indicate that we do not understand the vessel's intentions as part of the IRPCS. So in this example, we have a crossing situation between a fishing boat and a sailing boat. No matter what side the sailing boat is approaching the fishing vessel, the sailboat is the giveaway vessel, the fishing vessel engaged in fishing is the stand on vessel. A vessel nearing a bend or an area of a channel or fairway where other vessels may be obscured by the intervening obstruction shall sound one prolonged blast. Such signal shall be answered with a prolonged blast by any approaching vessel that may be within hearing, around the bend, or behind the intervening obstruction.
If whistles are fitted on a vessel at a distance apart of more than 100 meters, one whistle only shall be used for giving maneuvering and warning signals.